Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're talking about juicers. Presses. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're probably wondering why we're making this video. And actually, we're wondering why you're watching it. Right? It works both ways. No, but actually, don't turn it off because we have a lot of good tips for you. Right. You would, it's not complicated, but first it's important to use freshly squeezed juice. Yes. It adds better flavor to the drink. Plus it's fun. Right. It's part of the drama. <laughs> part of making drinks is the drama. Sometimes when we're doing lime and lemon, we should like squeeze them both at once. Right. Over a flame. <laughs> yeah. Flaming it. That's what you want. Um, we've had plenty of citric acid in our eyeballs. More Phil because he does not have protective eyewear like me. And so we learned by trial and error the best juicers, mm -hmm. squeezers. All right? Here are two examples. All right? Yeah. This is the one Phil has at home, and that's why he's F blind. But you can see this one has a narrower pocket than this one here. You want a deep pocket so the juice goes through the holes in the bottom and not into your eyeball. Right. Right? Mm hmm So we use this one a lot. We got it at cocktailkingdom.com. Our favorite, however, is this white one that we got from Pampered Chef. We got it online, but I think Pampered Chef is sort of like Avon. Right. They come to your house and sell you stuff? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, no one came to my house, but I bought one anyway. <laughs> and this is really good. This is really good. This is our favorite. My only gripe with this is that it has this little coating over the cast aluminum. And if you squeeze a lot of juice and then don't clean it right away, mm -hmm. kind of the oily grime from the outside of the rind stains that. Yep. I don't have to worry about it because Jackie does the dishes oftentimes. <laughs> um, so, but that's our favorite. And then you'll see these all over the place in yellow and green, right? Mm -hmm. And orange. Mm -hmm. So we'll use this sometimes if, you know, for an orange. The other ones will handle lemons and limes and even small oranges. Right. The problem we have with these colored ones is they're a little more cheaply made, and they frequently break up here mm -hmm. if you get a hard orange or a hard something or other. But otherwise, it's fine. If you're having parties, or you squeeze a lot of orange juice, you use this little. You need the Megatron presses. Yes. Now, the secret is how do you put your lime or lemon or orange or grapefruit inside these things. A lot of people do it wrong. Yeah. And, well, it's easy to do it wrong because you're looking at this thing, and this thing looks like one of those juicers that your grandmother had, right? Right, exactly. That you'd go like this on. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And so people put this line in there and go like that. It looks like it fits that way. I know. No, that's just totally <laughs> the opposite. It's wrong. Don't it believe is. your grandmother. Right. What you want to do is you want to invert this thing, totally turn it inside out. So you put it in this way. And so this thing is going to press there, squeeze this puppy inside out. You're going to get every drop of juice out of that thing. Right. And it's going to come out of these holes and not around the side, like if you do it the other way. Well, and a lot of the juice from the rind is going to stay in the top. Yes. And that's usually more sour than the juice that you get from the inside. Exactly. So we're going to squeeze this into our cocktail here. Would you like to do the honors? I will. Nice. Not one drop in my eye. Perfect. All right. So that's the key. Look for a strainer with a deep pocket mm -hmm. and put the fruit in upside down of what you might think. And turn it inside out. All right. There you go with juicers. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're talking about juicers. Presses.